Hey everybody, Quentin here, talking to you today about the Porky's MT-22DS. Stands for dual screen and it's a cinema production monitor. What we have is a full aluminum 1080 8-bit monitor that just comes with a slew of functionality and just extras for your on-set monitoring. So what we have here is going to be this full aluminum housing with helicoil taps all along the top, all along both sides with a built-in stand that is very easy to articulate and to get into really almost any angle from 90 degrees all the way down to roughly 25. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's roughly. Uh, you do have, because it is dual screen, you have SDI inputs, you have HDMI inputs. It has the cross conversion built in. You also have dual V-mount in the back so that you can hot swap the unit. Right now I have two IDX batteries powering this unit. I can just simply remove one. It's still running off another one. So I have to just to have that extended long period of operation. But if one was going down, I can simply change it out just like that. A really cool function about this monitor is that it has two built-in pass-through power MPF style uh, mounts. Now, what does that mean? It means that I can put some wireless receivers such as Axoon, Hollyland, even some Teradex right on the back and it can power it without having the extra power cable. So I'm going to flip this around so you can take a look. So we have those built-in MPF pass-through power adapters and if you can see just really close up, I have this Vaxxus uh, receiver and it is simply mounted receiving power from the two V mounts or one of the two V mounts without a need for another power cable. Another cool thing about the pass through MPF is that you have the ability to rotate it. So some of your wireless receivers will have the antennas going up, some of them off to the side. You really want to make sure that those antennas are able to see to your source, right? Sometimes you need to be able to rotate it. Well, with the built-in pass-through, you're able to do that simply by spinning it, loosening it up, and spinning it into whatever direction you want to. And then I'm just going to tighten it back up. Another cool thing is you'll see that there's an SDI source going into this monitor too. So I have two sources, one HDMI, one SDI. And I'll be able to show you how I can just flip back and forth from this. So another cool thing about this 22 inch monitor is it has the built in handle. So no need to buy extra accessories, really easy to transport and move it on set if need be. It does have built in taps for VESA mounting. Uh, the easiest way to access that is to actually take off the included stand. So another cool thing about the production monitor is that it's not touch screen. So you don't have your grubby fingers all over the screen. You have physical buttons that obviously light up and are very easy to read. Um, as you can see, I have the HDMI source selected, which is going to be really just the camera that we're using now. And I already, as I mentioned, have an SDI source. So I simply press it and it will go ahead and take the signal that's going in. And I don't know if you've noticed, this particular signal actually is going off of a different frame rate. and the monitor is able to process it. Another cool bit about the feature is that it does have like a picture in picture mode. So again, it is a dual screen production monitor. So if I wanted to, I can have a preset that's already made to be able to show the signals that I have put into here. And as you can see, I have a picture in picture mode. If I press that selection again, I can have side by side. From there, I can go even further. If I needed to mirror it, if I needed to flip it, I can just do that right off the cuff that quickly. So I'm just going to go back to a single source and it'll pop up so that I can just see whatever source I want to. So other key features of the PowerKey MT22DS are all of the function buttons that you can pre-configure but also have ready to simply press. You'll notice right under the front we have four F5 all the way to F8. I have these pre-configured so that I can have very quick and easy access to certain functions like waveform. Again, I'll turn that right back off, but I have the other options. So I can have vector, full color if I'd like, and just come right out of it. You'll see F6, I have my audio levels. Now, uh, if I'd like, I could turn the volume up. Right now I have it down. And there I go to have it up. In the back of this port keys, I didn't mention it, but there is two XLR audio inputs with phantom power. 
I don't know many other monitors that have that available, but it has two that you have the option to use. There is also going to be a simple headphone jack out to be able to monitor it, or as you can see, I have the simple speaker output. Moving on, I'll turn that off into the, my F7, which I have already configured for my picture in picture. Now I have this set up to have a vertical crop that's ready for the same signal going in. How does that make it convenient? If you are one of those content creators that are doing the horizontal, but also need to make content for your socials, this is just a complete time saver. So I don't need to have those guidelines right in the middle of the picture. I can have the same picture, but already with that 16.9 crop. So with the image overlay mode, I can access the USB stick and all of the pre-captured images that I have. So simply have to go to overlay image. What the monitor is doing is now accessing that USB and I can choose which one I want to overlay onto the signal. I already took a picture of myself uh, and so I'll just go ahead and go straight down to it and press to select and now it will overlay onto the signal. So let me see if I can kind of get into the mode. Kind of? No, that's not it. But you know where I'm going with that. So another really cool part about this monitor is that there are four function buttons in the back. Now, if you are in a situation where you just don't want to look in the back and find out what button is there, you simply just need to hover over the button with the touch of your finger and you will see a display that will tell you what that function button does. So to show you, I will simply come over here just to the side and as I, as I mentioned, simply touch over that button, you'll see function one pops up and it tells you what it does. And I am not depressing the button at all. I am simply hovering it over. I will go down to the next button. It will tell you again, it'll hover, as I hover over it, it'll tell you what it does. Going back to that first one, I will go ahead and press the peaking and you'll see that it comes right up there. If I were to press and hold it, just as the menu tells me, I'll be able to go into the function setting buttons and set for their functions and maybe, uh, you know, just uh, custom configure it. For instance, in the peaking, I can change the color, the threshold, things like that. So again, as I just scroll down, you'll see one, two, three, four different buttons and what they do. The really cool thing that I love about this, especially is the false color, is I already have RE false color and I can set, of course, my own custom configuration. Further from the four function buttons in the back, I have a simple scroll and depression wheel. So if I wanted to just go through the menu functions or as you can see, change the volume, I'll be able to do that simply by pressing and using the scroll uh, right into the back. There also is a simple button that is to select the input of what I have and that is also in the back. So that's what we got to summarize the new Port Keys MT22DS that is fully available here in Australia with tons of functionality. If you want to know a little bit more about it, just make sure you click below. And thanks a lot.